what it is, what it do, cyber world. It is your girl, the one and only Ash Said It. Ash Said It.com. Ash Said It.com. This is the Ash Said It Daily Podcast Show. I appreciate you guys for your love and support. Yes, over 1,300 episodes. Wait, Ash, you crazy, boo. You crazy. <laughs> Yes, over 1,300 episodes and over half a million streams worldwide. Thank you, guys. Thank you for your love, your support, your devotion. It makes a huge difference. I'm out here in these streets. You know, I got to get this stuff done because ain't nobody going to do it for me. But I want to talk about something that is really close and near and dear to my heart for so many reasons. And I know that it affects a lot of you today and most the first part of the year. I want to talk about Girl Scout cookies, all right? I want to talk about Girl Scout cookies. I'm up here at the store, and the the little sweethearts is out there, and I sat up there and just spent my last 20 with them. I was supposed to get groceries, and that didn't happen exactly. (laughs) But it is what it is. But I love supporting the Girl Scouts because I was a Girl Scout, so I know about the cases and cases of boxes and the big trip that the troop gets to take and all that stuff, so... I, I go out and support. But what I will say is, Girl Scout cookies ain't like what they used to be, y'all. They're not what they used to be. My favorite cookie was the trifles, The trifles, the trifles, whatever you want to call them. Those are my favorite. Those are the shortbread cookies. Those are my favorite. My second favorite were the Thin Mints. And I will tell y'all, because I am just telling about a little bit of a fatty that I am. I've already tried these <laughs> season. But I bought some, not for myself, but for other people. I went and bought some for some other people. And um, (laughs) I'm such a fatty. The cookies just don't taste the same, y'all. The cookies do not taste. They're good cookies, but they were so much better when I was a kid. They were so much better when I was a teenager. They've changed up the recipes so many times. I'm just not laughing. The the trifles just have no flavor. It's like you're eating it and it's good and all, but it was not great. So I don't know who I need to talk about with the recipes and stuff. I just need y'all to just go back to basics. Go back to the basic shortbread. You know what I'm saying? Don't be trying to complicate stuff and then cut back and then you're shortchanging us. Who is loving that? Green Chef is now owned by HelloFresh to create one awesome company with a wide array of meal box offerings. But what is Green Chef? Green Chef is a USDA certified organic company that makes eating well easy and affordable with plans that fit every lifestyle. Meal plans include paleo, vegan, vegetarian, pescatarian, Mediterranean, heart smart, lean and clean, keto, gluten free, and omnivore. Everything is hand picked and delivered right to your door. It's that simple. Ingredients come pre-measured, perfectly portioned, and mostly prepped. With Green Chef's wide variety of high-quality, clean ingredients, you can feel great about what you're eating, and more importantly, how it got to your table. Being pescatarian has its challenges, but Green Chef makes it super easy for me. You guys know I'm an island girl, so the Caribbean spiced cod stole my heart immediately with the creamy collards and the bell peppers with the cauliflower rice. It's a magical sensation that you have to experience yourself. For my listeners, I've got a special treat. For $50 off of your first box of Green Chef, go to greenchef.us slash ash said it. Greenchef.us slash ash said it. Tell them Ash sent you. Yes, y'all. So <laughs> the cookies are just not the same. They're not the same. They were a little disappointing, but I didn't want to break the little girls' hearts. And I know that they work so hard throughout the year with their community service projects. And cookie sales, sometimes it's hard to get rid of all them cookies. Trust and believe. Our living room used to be just jam-packed with cases of tagalongs, doze You know what I'm saying? Some more city open that book. So I understand, and my heart goes out to them, and that's why I go and I support them. You know, we could consider this some of my community support. Yes, we can do that. <laughs> but I just had to rant on that because I totally was in the parking lot, and I was like, you know what, I'm going to go and get some fresh groceries, get some kale, I done bought up all these Girl Scout cookies. So I got to give them out to folks because they not they can't go home with me. They cannot go home with me because I would just criticize them even more while I'm eating them with some ice cream. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you guys are having a fantabulous Saturday ATL. We're getting some beautiful weather. The sun is out. 
go out and shine, shine a little bit. If you haven't already followed me across social media, follow me now at One Love Ash, the number one, L-O-V-E-A-S-H. And I will see you guys across social media. Keep in mind, anyone to tell you that you can't do what you want to do, you look them square in the face. You tell them, don't believe me, just watch. Watch what I do. Watch me make it happen. Watch me make history. That's what we're doing this for, the history books. Social media is nice, but real life is way better. I'm going to holler at y'all later. Deuces.